The past week, the Philippines House of Representatives tackled the budget of select government agencies before our eyes. They spent hours on the deliberation, thanks to YouTube coverage, but no thanks to all those display of annoying pomp and grace from the honorable ladies complete with fake cheeky kissings and hugs and pats and whatever. In that session, Sagi Partidist Representative Rodante Marcoleta moved to give the embattled Human Rights Commission a measly budget of 1,000 pesos or $20. Marcoleta was actually and only echoing the known wishes of President Rodrigo Duterte who was asked to grind on the Commission Chairman Chito Gascon. But of course the House Speaker, a partidist of the President, pushed the members to support Duterte's wish. Of the total number of 236 members present, 119 voted for the proposal while some 85 others abstained. Only 32 congressmen voted to approve the original budget asked by the Commission, led by Buhay Party List member Lito Achenza, Albay 1st District Representative Lagman and the budget sponsor Raul Del Mar of the 1st District of Cebu. The House action gathered so much criticism, reaction and enough noise as voice on various media platforms against the Speaker and some members who voted to diminish the HRC budget. Even Lady 4th District Congresswoman Lucy Torres, who represents the city of Ormoc and a few other towns of Lady Province, was not spared of luck. Her husband, actor Richard Gomez, now mayor of Ormoc City, came to her rescue, justifying her vote that it was her way of protecting the interests of her constituency. Definitely, it was a lame reason, and everybody knows. Lipa City Representative Vilma Santos Recto want to gain some media mileage after the vote by saying she opposed the actions of her colleagues, but checking on the names of those who voted no, her name was nowhere to be found. Either she was with the 119 or with the 85 who abstained. You know what we said of the 85 on a previous post. Even his son came to her rescue and clarified her stand, but already that was crap of nonsense. A review of the attendance video confirmed Santos Recto was not even present during the deliberations. How can you oppose a measure when you are not even present? It is common knowledge that members under the political party of PDP Laban, the party of the Speaker and the President, including those opportunist turncoats that affiliated with the party or joined in the coalition umbrella, know the ramification of not casting their support. Having attained his wish, the President on several occasions of his road show continued to mince words against the HRC chairman during his press conference at Martina Davao City. Parang pedophile kang putang ina ka. Just because there are, there are some people who died there and even teenagers, it doesn't mean to say na you have to stop. Kaya nga ito si Gascon. Kasi ikaw hanggang ngayon, puro ka teenager, teenager, teenager ng patay. And another at the National Convention of Public Attorneys at the 10th city, Bonifacio Global City in Taguig. Kasi nabi ko si Gascon, ano, ano ka ba pedophile? Really, Mr. President? You have so much cast and vile words for people zeroing out on your disregard for the value of human life. After all the casting and colorful words from the President, which all the more gave drive to the Speaker, Pantaleon Alvarez, asking Gascon to resign from his post, something expected happened. The House Appropriations Panel said it has received the green light to restore the budget of the Commission on Human Rights. Energy Regulatory Commission and the National Commission on Indigenous People. We can just speculate that Duterte must have given the go signal to approve the budget of the CHR, including the two other agencies, which by the way suffered the same ridiculous appropriation of 1,000 pesos. The House Appropriations Panel, while confirming about the approval on the restoration of the budget of the three agencies, did not specify from whom the green light came. So all those showmanship by Mr. Marcoleta were just for the show and nothing more. It was like threatening a child to behave or else no chocolate is coming. And the minions of PDP Laban obligingly folded their arms on their chest, 
bowed and howled the howl of an obedient dog. Those who are in favor, please say aye. This action only shows how members of the House of Representatives and elected officials in general spend people's money in unproductive processes. So the drama. So much ado for nothing. <laughs>